The Queen's Necklace Putta Shastri was coming back after a bath in the river. When he reached home he peeped in at the kitchen window. He saw that his wife had made some doses. She was covering them with a banana leaf. Putta Shastri counted and saw that there were fifteen doses. He went into the house and said to his wife, So you have made fifteen doses today. How did you know? She asked in surprise. Oh, I know magic, replied Putta Shastri. And now, give me some of those doses, for I'm hungry. After the meal, Putta Shastri's wife went to the well to draw water. There she met the Dobie's wife Mingi, who was crying loudly. She had lost her donkey. Don't cry, Mingi, Putta Shastri's wife said. You just go to my husband and tell him. He knows magic, and can tell you where to find your donkey. When Mingi had told Putta Shastri about the donkey, he said, Come back tomorrow morning. Bring five coconuts, twelve bananas and four rupees. I shall do a special puha and tell you where your donkey is. That evening clever Putta Shastri went out to look for the donkey. At last he found the donkey in a bamboo forest. Its head had got stuck between two bamboos. Next morning when Mingyi came with all the things, Putta Shastri did a long puha. Then he closed his eyes and said, I can see your donkey. He seems to be in some bamboo forest. Mingyi touched Putta Shastri's feet and ran to the bamboo forest. Sure enough there she found her missing donkey. Mingyi told everybody about Putta Shastri's magic powers. Soon a farmer came to Putta Shastri and said, My field is drying up as we have had no rain. Please tell me when it will rain. Putta Shastri told him to come back next day with coconuts, bananas and four rupees. At night Putta Shastri went to the farmer's field. He saw that there was a well nearby. He drew water from the well and poured it all over the farmer's small field. Next day when the farmer came, Putta Shastri did puha. At the end of the puha he told the farmer, I can see that your field had rain last night. The farmer hurried to the field and saw that this was really true. Now everybody got to know about Putta Shastri's magic. The king too heard of Putta Shastri. The queen had lost a costly diamond necklace. The king called Putta Shastri and told him to find the necklace. Poor Putta Shastri was really frightened. He had no idea how to find the necklace. He also knew that if he did not find the necklace, he would be hanged. But he said to the king, Your Majesty, tomorrow I shall do a special puha. After the puha I shall tell you where the necklace is. That night two thieves, Bora and Chenna, went secretly to Putta Shastri's house. They touched his feet and said, Maharaj, after the puha tomorrow you will surely know that we too have stolen the necklace. But please don't tell the king, or he will hang us. We shall do anything you say. Very well, replied Putta Shastri. Bring the necklace to me at once. And promise that you will never steal again. The thieves promised. When the thieves brought the necklace, Putta Shastri took it and went to the palace. He buried the necklace under a large tree. Then he went back to his house and slept. Next morning Putta Shastri went to the palace and did a long puha. 
After the puha he closed his eyes and pretended to think. Then he said to the king, Your Majesty, I can see the necklace. It is buried in the ground. Yes, it is under the large tree near the palace steps. The king sent his minister with some soldiers, and they were soon back with the missing necklace. The king was very happy and gave Pata Shastri a bag of gold coins as a reward. Pata Shastri was clever. I have been lucky so far, he thought. But some day people will find out that I am not a magician and I have been cheating. Then I shall be in real trouble. It is better to go away to some other place where nobody knows me. So Pata Shastri quietly went away with his wife and children to another town. After they had reached there, he told his wife everything. She had a good laugh when she heard him. But Pata Shastri never again said that he had magic powers. Thanks for watching.